Welcome to Crim's Guitars, welcome to episode 206 of the Guitar Builders Basics video podcast with his tips, tricks and training from me, Ben Crow at Crimson Guitars in the UK. Alrighty, um, I have a question here about inlay powders and I also have completely mislaid the little pot of awesomeness. Aha! I've been walking around the workshop talking to people about these. Uh, easy inlay. Uh, I met these guys at Maker Central and uh, they gave me a pot and I thought, oh hey, that looks like fun. And it is. So we're seriously considering stocking it or uh, uh, a version of it in the shop. So anyway, um, here's, how's that for a digression? This is a question from Richard Gething. He says, hi Ben. No idea if you've covered this before, but I've looked and I can't find it. <laughs> we have like a thousand videos now, so I'm not surprised. Uh, but can you show the ways of using your inlay powders? Uh, and uh, that are, that are, that are these. Uh, we sell little uh, vials of copper powder and bronze and aluminium and black and various bits and pieces. And it's, it's useful uh, to fill engraving, uh, in inlays and also uh, to create larger pieces. And uh, that is what I'm thinking about adding this. Uh, it is essentially flaked mother of pearl and it's the real stuff and it comes in two different sizes. So, uh, um, well, if you're in the UK, I'm not sure where you can buy it. Etsy, I think, I think they said something about Etsy. Uh, or if we get enough uh, people interested in it, we'll stock it at Crimson. But this is the thing, anyway, so, how do you use in their powder? Fairly straightforward. Uh, create a cavity, fill it with powder, and then flood it with super glue. Wait for that to cure. Don't use an accelerator because the accelerator will um, often make the super glue go white and cloudy, and then you won't get the effect that you want. Alternatively, if you have a little bit more time, uh, do the exact same thing, but uh, uh, so create a cavity, mix the inlay powder of your choice with epoxy and then spooge that into the cavity and then wait a day or two for it to dry. Depending on the inlay, uh, uh, depending on the epoxy. Anyway, let, I, I, have, uh, I have an inlay I'm working on at the moment. This is an instrument I started at a show and uh, <laughs> It, it showed up. Can you tell it's on my bench? It's the one that showed up in, in last week's uh, Guitar Builders Basics as well. <sighs> if you fancy fixing a dent in a guitar, go and watch that one. But uh, anyway, I'm going to do a little bit of playing with the Mother of Pearl flakes to accentuate the twig. Sounds fun, doesn't it? Close up. Okay, so here's the inlay. As it currently stands, it is by no means finished. Uh, I'm experimenting and uh, I, on the top right hand side of that twig, you can see a whitish line and that is the mother of pearl flake experiment the first. And I want to add some more in here and create a dewy accent. Okay, we have a cavity. That's the large flakes. I'm gonna do this with the small flakes. Look at that stuff. Oh, look at this. Oh, that feels so weird. Okay, so tiny amounts, because I'm doing this in a small cavity. I also don't want to waste that, so put that back in the thing. And then get some super glue. Oh, there we go. You can see that. 
this is wicking and just drip it down and then we need to leave that to cure okay this is cured on a flat surface I'm getting a small leveling beam and just going to take the excess down it's actually a little bit fine there we go okay now the reason I'm using a leveling beam it's a large surface I could very happily use a small file as well the problem with files is it's a smaller surface and uh, there is the, the possibility that you're going to go in and dent something. So, uh, ah, in this case, I'm avoiding it. Getting that. Okay, go on to a finer grit. Now, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to just very naughtily tear some 800 grit paper. I've jumped past a couple of grits, to be honest. But that gives you an idea. So there we are. It's going to be a lot more 3D under finish. But we have some interesting highlights going on. Now I'm going to engrave and inlay various powders into the rest of this piece over the next couple of weeks or months even. This is what I do in between projects. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. I've used around the edges of the flowers. Um, there were some small gaps that ended up with whitish superglue in. So I've gone in and used uh, brass powder just to accentuate the edges there. And uh, with the superglue that's gone darker. It's, a, it's another string to your bow, shall we say. So there we have it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being amazing. And uh, for your support, I really appreciate it. Give me questions for this show. I need questions, questions, questions. And uh, please comment below if you have uh, uh, hitherto undiscovered uses for inlay powder, let me know. And uh, other processes, there could be other glues that you use, other media. I do prefer epoxy if you have got time to uh, time to wait for smaller bits like this. Super glue works fine. Um, there we go. Please consider supporting our Patreon. It keeps this whole thing alive. And uh, at some point soon, I'm going to get a new camera. Yay. Um, but anyway, thank you for being awesome. Goodbye. See you later. I'm waffling now. I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. Here you go. Say, puppy. Hello. I don't know why that's still there. Ooh, who wants to see me build that? <sighs> I want to see me build that. <sighs>